Hi everyone, I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. Welcome to today's developer update. This one is particularly exciting for me because we get to introduce you to Uprising, the new Overwatch event, which is now live. So I wanna talk a little bit about why we decided to make this event. We listen to community feedback a lot. We really care what you guys have to say. And we've seen all the enthusiasm for the previous events that we've run, like Halloween Terror or Winter Wonderland. And we've seen a lot of desire for a non-real world related holiday event. So something that we came up with kind of out of the blue. There's also been a big desire in the community to hear more story behind Overwatch. And then add to that, we got such a favorable response to Junkenstein's Revenge um, that people really enjoyed playing a little bit more PvE or, or fighting um, AI-controlled enemies, that there was this great convergence on the development team to create this event called Uprising. So a little history behind the event. What we wanted to do was create something that allowed us to take any moment from Overwatch history, almost pulling out of the declassified Overwatch archives and saying, here was a cool moment in Overwatch history. We want to deliver it to you and let you as a player you know, live through it firsthand. So what we chose was a moment in Overwatch history that we call the golden era of Overwatch. So in the Overwatch timeline, there was the Omnic Crisis when Overwatch was formed. That was sort of 30 years before the game that you guys know and play every day um, took place. Then there were the golden years that took place after the Omnic Crisis was resolved, but when Overwatch, the organization, was in its heyday. And then there was the fall of Overwatch, which we talked a little bit about in the 76 uh, uh, teaser video that we showed. So this takes place in the golden era. And what's special about this event is that it is Tracer's first mission with Overwatch. And you'll see we're putting out a comic along with this, and I encourage you all all to read it, but you'll see at the time Tracer sort of in training, but we're going to send a crack team in to deal with the conflict that's taking place in King's Row. And that crack team is Reinhardt, Mercy, and Torbjorn, and they need somebody who's familiar with the area, and who better than Tracer to come in with them. So this, this event will uh, manifest itself in a number of ways to you as a player. One, there's a cool new loot box that has all sorts of really great items. Not only does it have the skins that the golden era Overwatch characters wore, so you'll see the Reinhardt, Torbjorn, Mercy, and Tracer skins, but we also sort of selectively pulled out some really cool moments in Overwatch history to make skins for as well. So you'll see Genji and McCree's Blackwatch skin or a Talon version of uh, Widowmaker that we think is really cool. So there's some good skins for you guys to enjoy. The loot boxes um, have a lot of other cool stuff in there, great animations, some cool sprays and voice lines. So hopefully those uh, are, are really appealing to you as well. And the thing that we're most excited about are the two game modes that we're adding to the arcade for this. So the main one is called Uprising, just like the event, and that's where you get to step into one of these four characters and play through this really cool event um, that's all PvE. It's much longer than Junkenstein's was, so you'll get to experience a lot more. There's a lot of story there. Um, there's some really interesting other things going on, like Morrison and Ana Amari are sort of giving you direction over your comms. So hopefully that, that, that gives you a little bit more insight into what Overwatch was like back in the day as well. And then for the arcade, again, based on feedback that we heard from you with Junk and Signs Revenge, we also are adding another card to the arcade, which is the exact same Brawl, Uprising, but you could play with any hero you want. So you can pick any of the 24 heroes and try all sorts of crazy combinations to see, you know, hey, it's look how overpowered Diva and Zarya are together. Um, or look at how challenging it is if we do it with four DPS and no healers. You know, that could be a really fun challenge for you. So we heard a lot of desire that after the Junkenstein event, people wanted to play with whatever hero they wanted. So we're giving you sort of two versions, the intended version, but also the super fun, you know, play whoever you want version. 
Um, there are achievements that um, some of them apply to one of the cards and uh, most of them apply to, to the other cards. So there's achievements that you can unlock and there are spray rewards for those as, as well. Um, really, you know, at its core, Overwatch was designed to be a PvP game. And we really believe in that six versus six, you know, player versus player, team-based action shooter. That's what the game was designed to be. But we had so much fun making Junkenstein's Revenge, and your response to it was so, so overwhelmingly positive. Um, and a lot of us have worked on PvE games before, like World of Warcraft or the StarCraft campaign, that it was just so much fun for us to try to branch out and do something a little bit different. So we hope you not only enjoy all of the story elements that exist in the Uprising event, but also the new gameplay that hadn't really uh, existed in any other uh, form in Overwatch to date. So we hope you have as much fun with Uprising when it comes to playing it as we did with making it. And again, thanks for all the feedback that led us here in the first place. Have fun with it.